Hello friends, this is Kara Renee with Be Reborn Art and Healing coming to you with another tutorial. Today we're going to be making some embossed pockets using um, paper bags. These are lunch bags. This one is actually <clears throat> the larger one I picked up at Walmart and it measures six inches, um, six inches wide and let's see if I can do the math. That's seven and three quarters, and well, let me measure one that's not already folded. Hold on. We'll get to that in just a second. I don't want to unpile all that stuff. <clears throat> so basically, they're bigger than the, the normal ones that you get in the grocery store. So this is my prototype. So I embossed with one embossing folder down here, and then I inked it with my Vintage Photo Archival ink. I used another folder up here, a, a text, and I embossed that little bit of lace beautifulness. And then these beautiful pieces from Shabby Cottage. Uh, I can never remember her. It's kind of a, feels like it's a back, little bit backwards name. <laughs> Shabby Cottage something. Um, anyway, I just did a video. I'm doing a series right now of a file folder folio so um, I just thought this would be a fun little like happy mail kind of thing so I'm going to show you how I did that so we're going to do three different ones here today so I've got some embossing folders some of them are standard some of them are three-dimensional or the 3d like this one is brand new and it is one of the Sizzix ones so we're going to be using that one for sure and I've got my Sizzix switch or my Big Shot switch over here to the left of me. I can't bring it into camera because the cord is not long enough. <clears throat> so let me show you what I've got. So I've got one also that is the the plain, I mean the regular bags that measure um, five and a quarter. Um, and then normal height. Um, I can measure that for you. I think I trimmed this one off because it was a little bit wonky, but we're gonna do that. So we're gonna emboss. Um, not all of them are gonna be, like this one's not gonna be embossed in the top because I'm gonna cover it with paper, but the other two are going to be embossed on the folded pit bit as well as this one. So I'm gonna set that one aside for now. <clears throat> and I'm gonna set this one aside for now. And we're gonna start with this one. So I will try to speed through and cut out inking and such things like that because I don't want to keep you forever. But I thought this one would be fun to emboss and then put this die cut butterfly up at the top. So I didn't, I'm not cutting this on camera because this was a headache. Like this was so, look at all of that that's still left in there. It was so hard. I think that I need to get a, a um, dryer sheet you know how they use a dryer sheet in here and it's supposed to help so I'm going to try that and see if I have better results because this was a headache but it's beautiful so I'm glad that I persevered but I decided I was not going to do it on camera so that's what it looks like and it's a, a B digital so you can't really tell that but it's got the colors that I'm going to be using in this pocket <clears throat> so I'm going to set that aside as well and these are the bits that are going to go inside the pocket, which um, we might cut tag shapes and such, but I'm not going to do a bunch of decorating on camera just because we've got three different projects going on. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll just finish them off camera as far as embellishing them, and then I'll show you photos at the end of the video about how, um, how I decorated them. So I think that's what we're going to do. So this is the bag. So again, this is uh, six inches wide and it looks like wow it's taller than my ruler probably 12 and a half or so inches <coughs> tall so what you're going to do is you're going to take the bag and i like these better than the small bags because they are beautifully even and easier to work with so we are going to look at this first because i think if i remember correctly this is going to be too tall so what you can do if you want this pocket to be smaller but you don't want to add to the bulk in this folded area <clears throat> you can uh, we can fold this up a little bit or fold this and then cut it off because we're not going to necessarily need that um, bit so let me just fold that and <clears throat> get my buried scissors out right here I've been working in the studio most of the day this is my second video of the day I'm trying to get some content on the channel before I go down for my surgery next week my surgery is on the 21st so not very far away 
so that is that and um so now, and it doesn't matter that we open that up because we're going to fold it up. I'm going to turn on a light because I don't like the shadow. Hold on. I'm hoping that's better. I don't know. <laughs> I had a lot of trouble in here earlier trying to take photos. I don't know why I'm having such a difficult time, but I am. So that's just going to help me move this pocket down a little bit further so that I can get the whole butterfly on here. We are still going to emboss the um the top here so let me get this folded like that so that we can get a marking on here of how far we want our embossing to go down at the very minimum so i'm just going to make a mark there and i think i'm going to use this script it's um, the same one that well we could use let's see what we have here i think i wanted to use the mandala one for the bottom of this one and so these are the ones i have that we could use. So I really, really like the script. So I think I'm gonna stick stick with that if you guys don't mind. Um, I'm gonna set those out of my way. So it's going to be wide enough. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, it, and it's also tall enough as you can see. It's gonna go past the line, which is perfect. So basically I just put the whole thing in here. I didn't even worry about it at all. So let me go ahead and quickly emboss this and I'll be right back. Okay, let's take a look. Look at how beautiful that is. I just love that script. So beautiful. So let me go ahead and ink this up just so you can see what that looks like as well. So I just take, I use a makeup sponge for this just because I can get more of a flat application of ink. So I just go from side to side. You could do this with a colored ink if you chose to. I'm not going to do that. I am going to show you some variations in this project so that you can see different ways of, of doing this top section so that it can you can have some interesting differences here so that's what it looks like all inked up isn't that epically beautiful so we do also need to ink up the edges here I guess let me just take a second and do this so now as you can probably guess these are too big to go in a journal because they are six inches wide. So this will be a fun, happy mail, well not in, in this case, it'll go in the journal, but it will be an external piece, an extra bit. So I was going to sew this, but I'm not going to because I don't wanna sew this uh, bag shut. What I do wanna do though, before I forget, is I do wanna glue the back gusset closed. So you don't have to go all the way to the bottom. I'm just gonna do that up at the top here, just to close that up a little bit. So let me do that really quick. I don't want that big of a, of a space here, so I'm just gonna close that and then open it back up, make sure I didn't get that top layer stuck down. Perfect. And then we will also glue on the sides. I only have to go down to that fold. Now you could leave that gusset bigger, open and bigger to hold more, but I don't think I need that much. Perfect. Okay, so that's what our pocket's gonna look like. Still a, a pretty decent pocket, um, so that's nice. I think that I don't think I can get any glue in there. I was thinking it would be nice to put something in there because I'm not, I didn't make ephemera for this part, only for the pocket here. So I'm trying to think about how can I, how can I put something in there to stop that? So I think I'm gonna go ahead and just stick my um, Fabri-Tac in here and just um, hope for the best here and just give a little bead across there. Hopefully I don't get glue everywhere else inside. So there we go, yep, perfect. Because it does not need to be that deep. Does not need to be any deeper than that. So 
Now we're going to go ahead and emboss this. So I will be right back after I do it. I am going to use the Mandela uh, folder here. Okay. Oh, I did it on the wrong side. Nope, I didn't. <clears throat> it's just showing on the wrong side. Oh, it's backwards. Oh, man. Um, that's okay. So it's we're going to get a little bit of a different ink impression. I put the top of the folder on this part and it should have been on the other side. But we're going to just go with it because that's what we do here on my channel. So I'm just going to see what happens when I try to ink this. It's, we're going to get some results. It's just not going to look the same. So that's okay. We're seeing the lines from the back of the bag, but that's okay, or from the folds behind it. So that's kind of a bummer. I wonder, I wonder if we could just, oh, you know what? Yeah. I don't think it looks bad though, honestly. What do you think? It's different, but I don't think it's bad. So we're gonna just uh, roll with it and be okay with imperfection. Trying to really get that inked up since we lost a lot of our our definition. I'll show you the diff. What, show you the. Well, it's not even there. I just had the folder on wrong completely. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that in place because I want to see where our butterfly is going to go. Oh, that's going to be so pretty. So we're going to fold down here, and I just want to make sure that I've got that all the way as far as I can down. So right there, so I'm gonna give that a good crease there. And I'm just gonna sneak in my art glitter glue on this edge so that I don't have to guess about that anymore. Let's get that in there. Um, you could stitch, I mean, I suppose I could stitch because I'm really not affecting that pocket. Um, so maybe, maybe I'll stitch on the next one, we'll see. And then this side. I love these paper bags. The size is amazing. Amazing. There we go. Okay. So now we need to get our butterfly on. And this is tricky because it is such a, um, it's so um, detailed. But we're going to try here. So I'm going to, uh, debating on how I want to do this. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do the hand technique. Well, it's too big of a design though. So I'm going to just going to go in with the glue and just do the best I can. If this was a smaller image, I just usually put glue on my hand and then just rub the, um, the dye over it. And then that works pretty well. So let's see how we get on, get on here. I have to move pretty quick though, because this is art glitter glue. I should probably be using Fabri-Tac. In fact, I'm going to switch to Fabri-Tac. I've got some in this little bottle that I just started doing, so let's see if we have a better result. I think this will be good because fabric tack doesn't dry as fast. Yeah, there we go. Gives you a little bit more working time, both uh, moving things around as well as um, it doesn't dry on the surface so instantly. So let's hope for the best here. One could put this on sticker paper, and that would also solve this little dilemma. Is this even coming out? Not very fast. <laughs> That's okay. Let me just speed up through this part and I'll be right back with you. I'm going to call that good and um, I can always touch it up later if I need to with some more glue. So I'm just going to try to place this down as evenly as possible. I'm thinking that our wings might be slightly too wide, but it looks like we're, we're mostly okay. So let's go ahead and just press that down. Perfect. Mm, I love that. Isn't that so pretty? It would be nice to have it be more contrasting, but that's okay. Um, I'll go in later and um, touch that up and just make sure we don't have any 
bits hanging uh, or, or not glued down. So I'm just going to snip that edge off and snip that edge off because that will be a problem in a journal. It'll be, it'll stick it or yeah, it'll stick out. Perfect. I love it. I don't know that it's even, but that's okay. <laughs> there we go. So um, again, I'm not going to be decorating these on camera. I'm just going to show you what I picked. So these are the ones that are going to go in this uh, in this pocket. So I will be making a tag out of this one. So I'll be cutting the corners and all of that. And it's going to go in here like so. And then this one's going to be a journal card and it will go in like so. And then this one like that. So that is our first pocket. I will probably also, I for completely forgot about decorating the front of this. I probably will put something on the front of that, but we will uh, we'll see about that. So I'm gonna set that one aside. And then let's do this one. So this one was fun because I wanted to find a way to do something different with the top part of the envelope. So I thought, why not die cut the actual, the actual um, bag? So what I did is I took this die and I ran this through my machine and I cut out that shape out of the front of the paper bag. Now it does weaken this. So um, when I put this on, I'm gonna be gluing it to the front of this. There's a piece of paper here. Uh, where did, which one? This one, I believe it is. So it's going to go in here. So I'll make sure that it's glued to to the front of this rather than the back to just stabilize that piece. So and um, we did the same thing here. We folded. Oh, well, did we? Um, yeah, I, I think I got these bags mixed up. So let me trim this one off as well. We're going to make that a little bit uh, shorter pocket as well. Just to get rid of this bulk. There we go. And so now we can fold that there. It does make this pretty darn tall though. So let's see, we are nine inches tall, almost nine inches tall. Um, I'm thinking that's too tall now that I'm, now that I'm thinking about this. That is an awfully tall thing. Yep, that one is nine inches. Oh well. <laughs> We'll, we'll deal with it. It might be an external piece, just a happy mail kind of thing that will go along with the journal. Uh, I think we'll move this one up though and, and avoid that problem. So so let's start with putting, um, oh, I wanted to talk with you about how I did this and made it so that it didn't cut all the way through the bag. That was really important. So I just took a piece of, of cardboard and I stuck it in here and then I put my die cut you know, on the top of the paper bag and I ran it through and it didn't cut through. It just cut through the first layer, which was epic. So let's go ahead and put this one in just because I want to stabilize this before we emboss the top part because that's pretty weak. So I don't need to ink this because it's not going to be sticking out. So I just want to make sure I'm thinking about this correctly. And I think I am. I'm wondering if I need to cut that top off. I think I do want to cut this top off. I don't like that opening. So let me grab my trimmer here really quick. You certainly do not have to trim that off though. You make it, you know, retain that look of a paper bag, but I don't, I'm not too concerned about that. So there we go. I think that stabilizes that, that top as well. So we're going to go ahead and stick this in here. So hopefully I will not be all thumbs and I can do that without too much trouble. So I'm gonna use my Fabri-Tac and I'm just gonna put it on the edge here about the margin that is here, if that makes sense. I'm trying to keep it away from the edge, too close to the edge because I don't want to, um, well, I guess it's not gonna ooze anywhere what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, we should may as well just put some on the bottom as well, just just for the heck of it. And I measured this so that you're going to be able to see this B through the window. So let's get her in there and just slide, slide, slide until we get her in place. Hoping that we do not have a problem here. Oh, that's going to be lovely. Look at that. Yes. 
should have inked the inside of that though. Darn it. The inside edges, but it, the paper bag is so thin and so weak. I'm not sure that I could have done that very well. So I'm just opening this up just to make sure I don't have any glue sticking out. So I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on the top here as well, just along the edge, throwing things all over my desk. Just press that down. Okay. And I think before we run it through the embossing machine, we'll just go ahead and do our, do our glue in here. No harm. Now to deal with the height of this before you even begin, you could um, you could come in and just cut the paper bag shorter and then you wouldn't have, be having this problem of height height issues here. So but you can if you try this you can do try different things. Okay. Got a little bit of, I bent that up, so I'm gonna try to tack that down. I might do that around different parts of that so that it doesn't it doesn't take any um, abuse there. So we're glued there, so let me see where we're at here. So that's, oh, that actually fixes, no it doesn't. So let me get some glue in here on the, the uh, top gusset here. It wouldn't matter which gusset you are gluing shut, just as long as it's the same on either side. So I'm just gonna stick my, boy, I am all thumbs, I'm telling you. There we go. Okie dokie. So that is now closed. And I'm just gonna open, make sure that we don't have anything interfering. Looks good. And so now we can go ahead and do our embossing. So it's not gonna show much because we're, oh, that's gonna do embossing over our image though. How do I feel about that? I don't know. Um, hmm. Let's look at the embossing folders and see what would have the least impact here as far as messing with that design. I think this, the dots would be the best. So let's go ahead and go with that. And I'll just make sure that I won't, I don't ink. Well, maybe I will ink it. Maybe I'll like that. I don't know. I will be right back, you guys. Okay, so little uh, confession here. So my glue oozed out probably from these edges. I think it's going to be fine in the end. And I also did my folder backwards. So when you want the bumpy impression to be on the top side, you need to have the name of the folder on the top. So, um, so we did double. So you can see both the emboss and the deboss, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and try to ink it up now and see what, see what we get here. I'm going to go right over the B. I think it's going to be epic. So let's just do it. Just trying to be a little bit gentle so I don't ruffle those edges of that that shape because it's again the paper bag is weak and I'm hoping that that glue is going to not be a problem but if it is it is and it just looks grungy right we'll just pretend we did it on purpose the polka dots it's fun 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 so I'm not going to take the time to ink up all the edges of this um, while I'm on camera but look at that isn't that cool I'm hoping I think that this will dry and won't be visible but we will have to we'll have to see um, if it's if it's not it's not and I might add some lace I might I'm not sure again I'm not embellishing on camera so let's go ahead and embellish the bottom part. And I think we were bringing this up here to make this one a little bit shorter. So I'm gonna make a line here so that I can see what I, what I wanna capture here. That's our fold. And I'm gonna make sure I put this in right this time. So I think for this one, I want to use the, um, this is one of my favorite embossing folders. So I think we're gonna use this one. So again, um, this one you can tell because the dark lines are on the top. So that is the top of the folder versus that. So I want this to go in like this instead of the other way that I did before. 
So I'm just going to sandwich that in there and I'm going to go to my machine and I'll be right back. Okay, let's see if I messed it up. <laughs> I think we're okay. <laughs> so yeah, it looks good. So that got all scrunched in there. That's okay. I am going to ink that edge up though just because I want to, you to see the beautiful contrast that's created by this process here. So I don't want to cover up the embossing so if I put anything on the front it'll be very minimal in terms of this pocket. So there we go. So let's just turn that up again and ink the bottom. Perfect. And oh, we need to ink the, the base here. So let's just lay that flat for ease here. I'll show you what these roses look like. I'll ink up. This is my favorite 3D embossing folder. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. this and keep it kind of um, nondescript. This is a stretchy kind of lace so I'm just going to cut it off um, because um, it does, it's stretchy. So it's different. But that is okay. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and open this just so I don't get glue on the inside of my bag and I'm going to just put a bead of glue right here. Oh, I didn't want it there, did I? Yeah, I do. I don't want it on the inside of the pocket. So I'm just gonna pull this. This is gonna be tricky because I have to be able to hold it long enough for it to grab, I think. <laughs> this might not have been a good, a good plan here. It's grabbing pretty fast. Not fast enough though. Okay, plan B. Plan B. of interesting. I'm not sure if it goes with this. Oh, I actually like that. Let's do that. This is lace I got for um, the Bohemian um, Waterfall Journal I started. I have not forgotten about that project. I just have not had a chance to come back to it, so I will be coming back to it. That was the collaboration um, that I was a part of for Rachel Bella Crafts but um, I will come back to it at a later date. So I'm just tacking that down for now um, and I will add more glue here in a minute to the bottom section. That's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. And let's get some more glue in here because I don't want anything to really highly take away from the beauty of this embossing. And I like the idea of the kind of the grunge with a little bit of feminine lace look here. So I'm just going to trim that off. Hopefully not slice my bag open. There we go. Oh, just sliced it. That's okay. And over here, <laughs> told you I'm all thumbs tonight. Life is really quiet at my house right now. I have to tell you, we have construction up the road, just two, just one house down um, up the hill because they're working on a bridge that goes over the creek. And so we have no through traffic on our road. It's been like so cool and so quiet. Oh, I love that. I did not think I was gonna like that, but I do, I do. So I'm gonna glue this pocket shut and I think I'm gonna put another layer of it um, on the bottom. So I do need to secure this, though I feel like it could be a problem. So I'm just gonna 
secure that part that we cut just so we don't have that flapping around. Okay, and then we're just going to put a bead of glue here. Already plugged up. Okay. And we're going to fold her up. Perfect. Give that a good press. Let it sit. Mm, I love that so much. I don't know. Do I want to put one on the bottom? Let's see how tall this is now. This is a good height. Eight inches is a good height. Mine are usually eight, eight and a quarter. Boy, I'm really leaning in. Goodness gracious. Okay, let's see. Let's look at it and see. Let me get the right side, though. Apparently, there's two sides to this. Um... Yeah, I think I do want to do that, and I can put a sentiment in the middle, which will take up very little space. So let's just let's just not overthink it. I feel like I need more ink on this though. I, maybe I don't know if I didn't get a good impression. Usually it's a little bit more um, pronounced than that, if I recall, but that could just be me. Okay, so let's do the same here. I'm going to have it hang off though. Um, so I love that. I love things hanging out of the out of a journal. Um, although, yeah, this one will be able to go in the journal because it's not too tall. The other one might have to be an external piece that I just gift to the person who gets the journal. I'm not sure if I'm going to sell it or give it away. It will be a three signature journal, just so you know. And it's going to be epic. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be some of my best work because I'm doing a lot of mixed media work in it. So, okay, let's trim this off. There we go. So, that is that. So same thing, all these pieces are going to go in the pocket. So um, that will go in here. It'll be cut into a shape. And then, oh, this one's awfully tall. I think I made this taller because it was going to be a taller pocket, but I'm just gonna trim that off really quick just so I don't forget later and just trim a little bit off of this edge as well. Hopefully I get that straight. And that's going to go in there as well. That'll probably be a journal card. So, and then this is just a little writing space. And I'll probably do one more thing in there. We'll see. So that is the second one. And I'll probably off camera, I'll put um, a sentiment or something on the bottom. So there is project number two. So let's get our last one, which is um, a standard bag. So this one's a little bit different. It is still B themed. This will be able to go in a journal on a page because it's smaller and it measures when it's folded, it measures, um, look, seven and a quarter. So that is perfect. But you, you can see how irregular these are in comparison to the other ones. So it's kind of, kind of weird. So let me go ahead and ink a couple things up here. So this one we're not going to ink that we're not going to emboss the top because it's going to have the paper covering the whole thing. So we're just going to go ahead and put that on. Oh, I did cut the top off of this one as well. It was a little bit rough. So place that on there and I'm going to pick it up and make sure it's nice and straight. Um, this is another, I believe this is from Caroline's Musings, um, a digital creator, um, but all of the kits that I'm using for the Bee Journal will be linked, so you can check that out. 
and let's go ahead and glue this all. You know what? I'm not going to glue it shut because that's how I got glue all oozing everywhere on that one. How is that clearing up? Is it? Which one was that? Which one was it? Let's see how it's going. Yeah, you can still see it. So that might be, that just might be part of it. That's okay. So this one we're going to emboss. So let me see what we want to emboss this one with. I've got a couple more folders over here that we haven't used. I was hoping, I ordered one. I was hoping it would come, but because our roads closed, the stupid post office said, we can't deliver, your, your driveway's blocked, which it's not, so it's just a bunch of malarkey. <laughs> so that was frustrating me. So we're putting this on the top. This is the part that's holding up, so you want the impression on there. So I'm just um, gonna go like that, because I only want it to be up to that point. So I'm just sandwiching it in there um, to that fold. So I will be right back. Okay, let's see what kind of magic we got on this one. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful. So this folds up. So let's ink it up so we can get a look at this. I don't use this embossing folder very much, but it is actually quite beautiful and very, um, you know, it would go with anything. It's really, really pretty. Unfortunately, I don't know where I got it. I won't be able to link most of these because I can't find them or they are just nondescript. So, mm, I love that. I love it. Okay, so, got that and that's gonna fold up as well. And, um, why does it feel so thick in there? We do need to close our gussets though, so let me do that really quick. I wonder if we want to leave this one, this gusset open and let this be a bigger bag. I don't know. You know what? I am going to leave the gusset open on this one. I'm just going to close this outside part. Um, yeah, just this, this, this outside edge. here. These bags are so irregular. They're, they're a lot harder to work with in some ways. So that is that. So this is going to fold up. I'm going to get that inked before I, um, I glue it. So pretty. So simple, you guys. And there's so many variations with what you could do with paper bags. So I love that. I feel like I want some lace on this as well. So let me take one more peek. I got this lace from Tabitha at, and I don't know her shop name off the top of my head, but I will link it. So let me see if there's any of this that I would like to add here. Um, I kind of got this green this green um, bit from her, and I think it's really pretty, but well, we definitely don't want that. This, none of this might work because it's all pretty, pretty wide. Um, it's pretty, but I thought, well, we give it a try, but I don't think it's going to work. Everything is too big, um, and that's just kind of an odd color. I don't care for that particular piece, so it just happens to be in this drawer, so <laughs> I thought I'd take a look at it. Oh, here's another one. Yeah, that's not the right color either. Let's see what I can find. We've got some yellow. Would that be weird? In a kind of a vintage -y kind of... Actually, I love that. Let's do that. Let's do it. 
let me go ahead and put that on first. So I'm going to put this on the on the outside of the pocket. So I'm just going to put some glue here. And then we will be done for today. Okay. Paper towel. Trim that off. It's sticking up a little bit over that edge, but I'm not too concerned about it. It's not intentional. That is a beautiful touch. I love that. I love that a lot. Okay, I gotta put another one on the bottom too, so I'm gonna do that. I'm just gonna glue this up first and then we'll do that really quick and then I'll let you go. And I also love the crinkle. Paper bags are great for journals if you like that crinkle. So let's see what this would look like to put another piece at the bottom. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to put it on the bottom on this one. I think I'm going to call that good. So this one has, um, again, these will be inked and such. Whoops, got something stuck there. Let me grab my metal ruler. See what's going on here. I don't like to lose my the landscape of my pocket, so let's just open that up a little bit. There we go. So that's just a little piece of writing paper. This is from Sweet Pea Curiosities. And we've got this image. I think these are the ones from Caroline's Musings. And just uh, there's a whole bunch of these, so we'll we'll get these inked up and I might, that might be too many, we'll see. But that is that. I'll probably put a sentiment on this as well. So guys, thank you so much for coming by. I thank you for your support and I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.